Well, good day, curd nerds. This month is going to be Cheese Month, uh, no, for no special reason except that it has 28 days, and it's easier to do a challenge like this, uh, which I'm calling the Cheese a Day Challenge. Uh, flashback to 2019 uh, when I did this before, and that was to taste the cheese every single day for the month of February. So stay tuned to the channel because every day this month you're going to get a new cheese video and a new cheese. Now I'm going to source these cheeses from local supermarkets or online stores or artisan producers that I can find uh, here in Australia. Some cheeses will be well known to you, some cheeses probably not so much, but today we are going to be tasting Yalesburg. Now, last challenge, we didn't have Yalesburg. I'm trying to stay away from any cheeses that we've done a, a Cheese a Day challenge with before. So, Yalesburg's a cheese that is a, it's made in Norway. It's an AOC cheese. Uh, and you can tell by this distinctive rind, it's a, um, a, a wax on the outside of the cheese, which is inedible. It also has eye development in the cheese as well. Um, and it normally comes in pieces about this size, depends on how much is. This one, how much does this cost? $3.95 for 152 grams. So not too bad at all. So Jarlsberg is a perfect grating cheese, uh, grating fondues, that sort of stuff. Plus it's a great eating cheese. Uh, perfect for a cheese platter, uh, and that's because uh, it has a certain nuttiness um, and the smell. It smells, uh, well, it smells fresh and milky. Now, one thing I am using today, and that is a cheese flavour wheel. Now, the cheese flavour wheel I found online. Uh, I didn't create it, somebody else did. Not sure who did. But let's see if I can pinpoint what the flavour is um, by using the cheese flavour wheel. Anyway, wish me luck. First of all, uh, with the Ellsberg, we'll just take the wax off. Now the rind's quite, quite firm. This is probably a bit of an old cheese, actually, um, from looking at it. And the only reason I say that is because the rind is not the same colour, and we know that this wax is inedible and it's difficult to get off. So we'll just put that aside. I certainly won't be eating that. But we've got a nice piece of cheese here. Um, it has some nice eye development. Um, it smells. It smells nutty. Um, so let's just. Try a piece. We'll try a piece with the cracker and then without. Um, as far as I know, this is made with cow's milk. Um, like I said, it's made in Norway. It's uh, native to that region. And it's in the Alpine style cheeses. So they must use a, um, a what I believe, a thermophilic uh, culture to make the cheese. So this is a little bit of the, the rind as well as a little bit of the, the inside, which is a lot... Um, more elastic. Anyway, let's try. Mm. Oh, that's delightful. So, a nuttiness. Let's have a look. Can I see any words? So nutty, it's sweet, not sour. Um, buttery, no, not so much buttery. Um, a little bit, I won't say waxy, um, but it's a little bit, um, it tastes elastic in the mouth. It doesn't coat the mouth. You just get the flavor on the tongue and then it's gone. Um, it doesn't seem to stay in the mouth. Let's just try. I'll try a little bit on the inside. 
I know this is um, crass of me. I shouldn't be doing it like that. <laughs> but I want it a bit without the rind. The rind's a bit chewy. Mm. This cheese is a bit old. As in, it took a long time to get from Norway to Australia. It was probably in the sitting in the supermarket for quite a while, which is probably why it was only marked down to three dollars. Mmm, that's better. Yeah, nutty's the word. They're a little bit milky, elastic, nutty, flavoursome, very flavoursome. But it's definitely reminiscent of the cheeses, the Yalsberg style cheese that I make as well. So, um, it, it's a great cheese. Uh, can't say much more than that. Uh, it made a perfect cheese sauce. The flavour is just really good. Um, nice on a platter, just don't serve up the rind. The This one is a little bit old. You can see the uh, colour is darker than what the inside paste is. So that, that it's okay, but it's quite chewy. Um, but the inside paste is delightful, really nice. I wish I could get a fresher piece of Jarlsberg um, that isn't so old. Uh, but yeah, really good flavour. Um, and it's a classic, it really is. Uh, it's one of those cheeses that never uh, fails to impress people on a cheese platter. Uh, the eyes are striking, the flavour's delicious. So what's not to like about Jarlsberg? Anyway, um, if you want to make Jarlsberg yourself, then there will be a recipe in the info card. You can go and check that out. But that's the end of today's Cheese A Day Challenge. That was Jarlsberg. Very nice, Alpine style, but made in Norway um, with eyes and nutty. That's all I can say about that. So we will have another Cheese A Day Challenge tomorrow. And it will be a camembert a no-name camembert that I picked up from the local supermarket that they branded it themselves. So we're going to try that um, and I'll see you on day two of the Cheese A Day Challenge. Thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I'll see you next time.